A civil trial has ended in Orange County with a jury determining that by a preponderance of the evidence, a man engaged in indecency with a four-year-old girl. The civil trial jury awarded the family of the child $40,000. The defendant testified he did not engage in such behavior. The plaintiff says it happened in 2008 when the man owned a daycare center in Vider. He is no longer owning the business and is not associated with it. Six News anchor Ashley Gaston spoke with the mother of the girl who is now eight. We disguised the woman's face and voice to avoid identifying the child. She had made an outcry to um, Kim Hanks with the Garth House. This is a picture of what the child drew for a Garth House therapist in 2008 when the girl was four. It's a picture of a man smiling, standing over the child. My head was spinning, um, shock, fear, hurt. Um, betrayal and a lot of fear for my little girl. The mother testified last week during a civil trial at the Orange County Courthouse. She said back in 2008 her daughter told her Clifton David Parker of Orange touched her inappropriately. The mother said her daughter told the Garth House therapist it happened in a bathroom at the Lollipop Stop Children's Center on Calvary Street in Vider. Parker owned the center from 1991 until 2008. He no longer owns it or is associated with it. The child attended the daycare for three years. She started having a lot of nightmares uh, almost immediately afterwards. Um, sometimes she would wake me up crying and other times she just wouldn't go to sleep. In 2009, the mother sought the help of attorney Clay Dugas. My client and I felt that this case was so compelling and that they had been denied justice so that this was the only effective way to proceed. No criminal charges were ever filed. District Attorney John Kimbrough told KFDM News there is not enough evidence to pursue criminal charges, but the girl's family wanted to move ahead with a civil case. For example, in this case, one of the big issues was that Cliff Parker said he, he was never alone with the child. That was his position in deposition. He never made a statement to the police. But what we did through multiple independent witnesses was prove that, in fact, he, he was alone with the child. Last Thursday, the jury reached its decision in the two-week trial and found four the girl's mother. Do you find from a preponderance of the evidence that he engaged in indecency with a child? And they answered yes. He owned his choices at that point, that me and my daughter had carried them um, for four years. And so his burden, the burden of his actions were put back on him. And it was the weight of the world lifted off my shoulders. The daughter asked her mother if Parker would go to jail. It's a thought the girl expressed in a picture she drew in 2008 at the Garth House. It shows the bars of a jail cell. No, baby, but we're one step closer. Ashley Gaston, KFDM 6 News. Once again, the jury's $40,000 award to the mother came in a civil trial. The district attorney has not filed any charges against 52-year-old Clifton David Parker. He told us there is not enough evidence. Parker sold the daycare center in 2008, and to repeat, he is not associated with the business.